Marion. I mean, I would get down and kiss her feet. I'd love to have a woman president. I, but see, that's how they phrase it. Oh, you just can't handle it intellectually and know what a liberal this is and how progressive it is. No, I see flaming, evil, criminal fascism. I know it when I see it. I know it when I see it. And that's what Hillary Clinton is and has always been. And we just can't seem to ever get rid of her. It's like cancer. It just keeps coming back. And, you know, they throw out these little rights. Oh, we'll you know, let gays marry or whatever. It's all just a political football. While when it comes to banker bailouts and looting the economy and food prices exploding and, 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 the, and the Federal Reserve, they just make it about the puppet Hillary because she herself is just a puppet, though a high-level gangster in the power structure. It's a distraction from the good old boys club at Goldman Sachs and all the big banks that are literally funding the gun control, the open borders, the end of America, North American Union garbage. General Petraeus in the London Telegraph admitted the open borders are about the North American Union. I began to get into iodine a few years ago because it was helping me and my family so much get healthy and detoxify. Most people know that iodine deficiency has been a crisis around the world. Iodine is key to so many of the body's functions, especially the thyroid. I discovered a product being developed by Dr. Group. You now know it as Survival Shield True Nascent Iodine that your body can really absorb. Then, about a year ago, he said, listen, if you think this is powerful, I'm going to come out with rare earth, deep earth crystals. And the results that I personally have had have been life-changing. Nobody else has got iodine based on these pure crystals, ladies and gentlemen. This is innovating, and the best part is it helps fund InfoWars.com, the radio show, the TV show, the whole media operation promoting true libertarian ideas. For a limited time, experience the ancient power of Survival Shield X2. Take advantage of this unprecedented 30% off Super Detox Special at InfoWarsLife.com. I've always believed in nutrition and herbs. Super Male Vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals sourced from powerful organic herbs harvested around the planet and then concentrated for maximum potency. I just received my Male Vitality about three days ago and I must say that is good stuff. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula. Super Male Vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. I jump out of bed ready to fight these criminals every day. I look forward to waking up and taking my Super Male Vitality and getting the day started. It's not just the Super Male Vitality. All the products at InfoWarsLife.com are simply amazing. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality and other powerful products from InfoWars Life. General, what do you think about the FBI saying that there's a terror alert on Monday about a potential Fort Hood situation? The police are shoving people, shoving Alex, shoving the crowd. Here we go, folks. I'm being assaulted. Whether it's the radio show, the news websites, documentary films, or the nightly news, InfoWars is the tip of the spear. Is this another false flag stage attack to take our civil liberties and put more homeland security by sticking their hands down on the pants on the streets? It's up to us to set brush fires in the minds of men and women everywhere. And that's what PrisonPlanet.tv is designed to do. If you watch, the Assad regime is going to be blamed or accused of using chemical weapons against the so-called rebels. What we see now is a war against reality. It's a war against the truth. It's more vital than ever that supporters of freedom become members of PrisonPlanet.tv and share their membership with up to 11 friends and family. Visit InfoWarsNews.com today. Become a member, share your membership, and help take the info war to the next level. Hi, I'm Dr. Edward Group. It took me 20 years of searching the globe to find the deposit of the highest purity iodine available. The new Survival Shield X2 is mined from 7 to 10,000 feet below the earth in pristine, environmentally clean conditions. The iodine crystals we use are extracted from an ancient 300 million plus year old deposit deep in the earth. It's the strongest nascent iodine on the market today. It delivers 650 micrograms per drop. Experience the new formula. Experience the ancient purity. Shield your family. Survival Shield X2, available now at InfoWarsLife.com. 
X2 from InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Coast to coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. We now take you live to the Central Texas Command Center in the heart of the resistance. You're listening to the Alex Jones Show. Do you remember... All the scandals back in the 90s with the Clintons, all the corruption. For me, though, the biggest one is currently Bill Clinton's charity keeps about half the money that came out in the news that he raises for Haitian kids to run a fleet of jets and houses and things for himself, even though he's worth tens of millions of dollars separately from that. His payoff for swindling the American people, getting NAFTA and GATT passed. Remember they told you NAFTA and GATT would be a great thing for everybody? How do you like deindustrialization now? Uh, but uh, there's a new article that broke uh, on Friday, and we have the audio coming up with David Knight as well. And that deals with victim of pedophile rapist Hillary Clinton took me through hell. And there's a recording now of it. So we're going to be uh, breaking all of that down in Hillary Clinton's involvement. Remember all the women that got raped by Bill Clinton and he would settle the cases? And then the feminists, the so-called feminists, would come out and attack those women. Because these aren't feminists. These are people that are about a power structure. They're a gang. And they're doing a great job wrecking society and civilization. By the way, speaking of Hillary Clinton, uh, I just this witch just never seems to go away. Here is the article out of... Life magazine. The issue is June 20th, 1969. And in it, it's got Hillary, the little genius who was just getting out of college at the time, who they would, you know, said would be basically running our country later and how great socialism is. She totally groomed from the beginning. These are sinister technicians that know exactly what they're doing, and they've done a fabulous job. And again, I'm not getting off on some Hillary bashing tangent. It's just that she came out, and we'll play this clip coming up, last week on CNN and said that owning guns isn't just the issue. No, no, it's people that promote the right, don't have a right to terrorize everyone with our speech. And David Knight was able to talk to her and she elaborated on that. They said no cameras, but public interest is above that when she visited book people. The press isn't going to be shut down anymore. So David Knight and Kit Daniels were both able to get questions in. The audio is from a hidden uh, watch uh, microphone system. So it's not the best audio, but it is audible. Even on AM radio, we've tested it. Uh, and separately, that dovetails with this. Now, this happened to our reporters Tuesday live on air. In Brownsville, at the big bridge, they would try to get over, and the feds were claiming they owned that whole side of the river, even though they didn't, and that we couldn't be there with cameras. We have video of that. Just, just get back, guys running up with uh, machine guns as they bring in the illegals. And we have video, again, that uh, is up on InfoWars.com, Drudge, Link to it. It went viral. It was on Fox News. In fact, that happened at least three times last week that Fox picked up our video for the border of the kids being masked, being shipped deeper in, where they're being held at churches. The buses come in at Brownsville, come in at McAllen, other areas in Texas. The Greyhound buses, the Border Patrol gives them their vouchers to go wherever they want on Greyhound, a coded number where Greyhound's just told, take them wherever they want, New York City, uh, Michigan, uh, Detroit, wherever they want to go, Austin, Texas, you take them there. You just take illegals, men, women, children, babies, you know, just drop them off. This is human trafficking, completely illegal. And then Breitbart has video of it now. It happened to them yesterday. U.S. media restricted at border. Federal agents cite safety concerns at the Grangino City, Texas, a remote section of the U.S. border near the International Bridge is one of the few places where media can witness and record the mass crossings of minors coming from Central America. 
The U.S. Border Patrol is now restricting journalists' access to the area, citing safety concerns. No, they're not. You are loading them on buses and shipping them in. I have the head of McAllen Emergency Management. And then people didn't believe it. A day later, Paul Watson found the federal purchase order in the federal contract at Fez Business Ops from January to hire the tens of thousands of contractors to go run this. And we caught FEMA pre-deploying food to these bases a year ago for this. We have them premeditated like everything else. Do I have time to go to this report before we go to break? Let's go to David Knight's uh, and Kit Daniels' report from Hillary coming to Texas and attacking Matt Drudge and the Second Amendment. Outrageous. Let's go to this authoritarian. Well, Hillary Clinton is pushing her book and her candidacy on the public. She's made some pretty controversial statements lately about Matt Drudge, about the Second Amendment. Kit Daniels and I went to her book signing here in Austin, and what we found was contradiction, hypocrisy, and really a kind of dangerous intolerance of the First Amendment and free speech. On a recent NPR interview, she said Matt Drudge was one of a, quote, bunch of gamers. And then she said there's a difference between fair game and playing games. So Kit asked her about the influence of Drudge. Did he have too much influence? What about other internet sites? This is what she had to say. Hi. Hello. I listened to you on NPR recently. Uh, like sites like the Drudge Report and other white right sites have too much influence? There's so much, there's so much opinion and information out in the world, and the best way to deal with bad information is good information, more the merrier, right? Yeah. Thanks. So she kind of tells Kit that she supports a free marketplace of ideas. You know, may the best man or woman win. But that's not what she said when it came to gun owners. She was very intolerant of viewpoints of people who opposed gun control. She said earlier, just a couple of days ago, that they terrorized the public with those viewpoints. So I asked her for some clarification. What do you really mean to characterize gun owners as terrorists? A couple of days ago. Gun owners as terrorists? Is that terrorized the majority? No, but I meet, I meant to say, and I think I did say, that uh, a minority who believes in absolutely no restrictions is terrorizing uh, okay. the majority. I think universal background checks are eminently reasonable under the Constitution, and I believe that they should have been passed after the murders uh, at Sandy Hook, and now we've got many more murders. So it's kind of the First Amendment, too. They should shut up, right? No, they, they, can, they, they, can keep, they can keep talking, anyway, but they do they more than talk. Uh, in my opinion, they intimidate. Thank you. Oh, okay. It's not intimidating to call people terrorists. Thank you so much. Thank you. How's that for a contradiction? No free marketplace of ideas there. People she disagrees with have to be silenced because they're terrorizing the public. Then there's the hypocrisy of these elitists who are constantly pushing gun control. After passing through layer after layer after layer of security at the book signing, she clarified for me that the 99.99% .99 of us without an army of security guards should just shut up about our right to keep and bear arms or be labeled as terrorists. Going back again to that NPR interview, she'd said that debates about her physical condition isn't the debate that the American people want to have. She said they want to debate things like tax policy or economic growth or climate change. But clearly Hillary Clinton doesn't want a debate on our rights. Debates don't mean anything if our leaders don't have character. We need people who are going to respect our rights. We need people who are going to trust the American people. And we need leaders who are going to obey the law and tolerate free speech. That's right. You can see the rest of Knight's report in living color at Infowars.com if you're a radio listener and PrisonPlanet.com. It's on the site right now. Hillary Clinton attacks Drudge and Second Amendment in Texas Visit. We'll be back with him in studio. A chemical spill contaminating the water supply in nine West Virginia counties. This year alone, over 300,000 people in West Virginia had their drinking water contaminated. What are the health effects of having these drugs in our drinking water? It's forced medical treatment without the consent of residents. My friends, water filtration is one of the most basic actions you can take to protect you and your family from the harmful toxins and heavy metals in your tap water. On average, the county says it sprays with the glyphosate at least once a week. Few filters cut out the glyphosate that is found in water supply.
supplies worldwide. Remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, hydrofluorosilicic acid, sodium hexafluorosilicate. All right, it is in tea, it's in coffee, it's in water, it's in bread, it's in toothpaste. It is our responsibility to protect our families. The establishment's not going to do it. It's time to take action. It's time to filter our water. Visit InfoWarsStore.com.